Broadway's Tony Award-winning musical Hairspray is back and hitting the road. Paul Wontora caught up with the star of the show, Andrew Lovett. Take it away, Paul. Hairspray's Edna Turnblad is timeless to theater fans. You may know Andrew as RuPaul's Drag Race favorite, Nina West. I met up with Andrew as Nina at New York City's Time Hotel. Located in the heart of the theater district, just steps away from Times Square, its lush penthouse also provided the perfect backdrop to capture the talent's very first transformation into Edna Turnblad. Take a look. This is very exciting. Yeah. There was a national tour of Hairspray. Andrew, you created Nina West. Yeah. And became famous. Yeah, it's kind of, it's this really crazy story and this really remarkable journey that I've kind of been on. Yeah. You know, I grew up loving musical theater. My grandma took me to my very first Broadway show. I had this lifelong love of live theater. Yeah. And I went to college for theater and my goal was to move to New York and I graduated in 2001 and do the math and 9-11 happened and I stayed home. And so I kind of created Nina in yeah. that interim period of 20 <laughs> years. And <laughs> since then, um, I've, I've come to New York as often as I can to see shows, to be inspired, to allow that to kind of inform my creative work, and, yeah. and Drag Race happen, and here I am. And, and Editor Bud, very different from Nina West. Oh, 100, yeah, I'm not a mom. Uh, she's a character who has her own story, her yeah. own transformation, her own journey throughout the musical. Yeah. And I live in a world of confidence. I really love myself. I love what I do. I love the ability to stand on stage and entertain people. Um, you know, my confidence is kind of in that, is rooted in that. And Edna, you know, we see Edna at the beginning of the show really just not in love with herself and not in love with her body and, yeah. you know, and not really loving where she's at in life. And it's, it's great to watch this journey and this transition. What's so cool about this show and what's remarkable about the, the power of the art form of drag is that we get to see a transformation. Drag reveals who you are. RuPaul always says that, and I really do agree with that. Drag reveals the person. It doesn't conceal, it doesn't hide you. And so we get to see Edna kind of being very in this very simple state in the beginning, but by the end of the show, we get to see her revealed into this gorgeous butterfly, right? And yeah. they kind of like, when we see her coming out of the can of hairspray, it's almost like coming out of a cocoon. Yeah. Or more of themselves, even. Drag really has its roots in theater. I mean, if you think about theater Oh and my drag, God! Is, Shakespeare, is, is it, really, is it, I mean, come on. I mean, do you consider, like, creating, Andrew creating Nina West, mm -hmm. is this, like, a character in, in the same sense of how you would, would create a theatrical One hundred percent. When I first started drag, I was so intimidated by the art form. Um, only, not only because, but primarily I started at a time when uh, there wasn't Drag Race and there weren't right. YouTube tutorials and it was queens in bars and nightclubs and, you know, feeling that kind of judgment right. the, 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 from our, from, from gay men specifically, like, oh, you're a queen, oh, you're a drag queen. And then, you know, when you have a show that like Drag Race come along and really in infiltrate people's homes and talk about the beauty of this community and share, like, share and celebrate this art form, it does take it to a different level. Mm -hmm. And I think when I first started drag, I was so ashamed and so I felt like I was ashamed by it and I was ashamed to do it. Mm. Um, and as I've grown, now having done drag for almost 22 years, wow. I have really embraced this crazy, incredible, beautiful art form that, that does allow me to celebrate and accentuate my body, celebrate yeah. the, my personality quirks. Theater taught me that. So when I was in school for theater, I learned all these incredible skills. You know, how to like memorize a script, how to tell a story. And then someone came up to me when I first started drag, like, relax, calm down, approach this like you approach theater. And I was like, oh. So then I just, so I took Nina and my like the first few songs or performances, or live singing, like live performances I was doing, I was like, let me write a character study. Let me write intention. And it could be a three and a half minute song. I was like, okay, what do I mean? What am I, and like, I was that, bookish, nerdy kid trying to just prove to myself that I had to find some validity or worth. But I still, to this day, think that theater and drag are so closely related. They're the same thing. Yeah. And like, you know, we're providing escapism. We're providing hope, we're providing energy, we're, we're uh, providing commentary, mm -hmm. social commentary, and 
that's, I mean, that's any good theater piece. There are a lot of Drag Race fans. I love the idea that you'll be bringing a lot of them into the theater. I do think that the show does, much like the show Drag Race does, Drag Race does introduce young, young people mm -hmm. um, and their families to the art of drag. Yeah. I think this show will introduce young people to the art of theater. I love how emotional you're getting talking about it because there's something about um, theater that people have this connection. This yeah. is, it's sort of... I recognized early on where my people were. Mm -hmm. I recognized I could see them. You know, so that's where I, I saw people in the theater and I saw people in the arts and I was like, I have to go. It was, I knew I was a creative soul. I knew I was driven in that world. Yeah. But I was reinforced by knowing that people like me were in those spaces and that was a safe space for me. And so I think that's, it was, that was, I was, it was like almost like an allowance and okay and a, you should, yes. And so when you see a show like Hairspray and it is so queer, I mean, we're talking, I mean, this is a very, yeah profoundly queer show. Being a part of this, knowing, I mean, that's why, I mean, I'm getting choked up because I know what this is. You know, like, and I know somebody, I know what this did for me when I was 20. I know what it's doing to me when I'm 42. I can't imagine what it's gonna do for somebody who's young and closeted and sees someone like me or the Billy Porter, or it doesn't matter who it is that's queer and out and doing the work, but that representation does matter because it allows people to see themselves and allows them to say, I matter. I have a space, I, that's a space I can go to. That's a space I can fill. That's something I can be a part of. Yeah, it makes me emotional.